Black clouds of smoke hover over the city after a fire at a Dayton school. Good evening again. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Marsha Bonhart. Crews say construction may have actually led to that fire. So will the blaze affect progress on the school's completion? Holly Samuels joins us live to give us the answer. Holly? Well, the World of Wonder Elementary School on Camera Avenue is scheduled to open for classes in August of 2010. Right now, that plan remains the same for Dayton Public Schools. That's despite what happened today. Fire crews hose down building materials at the World of Wonder Elementary School, the newest addition to the Dayton Public School District, scheduled to open its doors in the Residence Park neighborhood next year. But what should be a crisp new building in the making is now a wet, smoky mess. Looked much worse than what it was, but uh, it did take aerial ladder operations to get the fire knocked down. This traffic cam video shows the pillar of smoke billowing from the school when the fire was at its highest. Fire crews say a plumbing contractor was cutting through the roof with a torch to make way for a pipe, but the worker did not know that on the other side was a pile of roofing material, styrofoam and tar. You can see it from miles away, so, you know, if you, if you didn't come see it, then, you know, you miss the show. For real, because it was very intense. Man, you can see them with black smoke and flames. The roofing materials burned up, but fire crews say there's very little damage to the building. We are probably talking somewhere to a two to five day uh, hiccup here. But that doesn't mean that guys can't be working somewhere else. So I'm not so sure it's going to impact the overall completion schedule. Those roofing materials that burned are estimated to cost between thirty and thirty-five thousand dollars. But Carr says the district's insurance should cover it, and he expects the contractor will pay the deductible. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, two news on your side.